Hey everyone, it's Hintash and I'm here with Timmy. Today's video is going to be a really beautiful look and I am basically going back to my signature makeup look that I did with my very, very good friend Cami. She is back in Dubai, so I, you know, we had to film. We, we always love filming together. She was in my first campaign ever and um, I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, how cute is Timmy looking lately? I love when I cut his hair and it grows into this really fluffy, summer, manageable haircut. <laughs> so whenever Cami's in town, we definitely plan a shoot day. And we were kind of going back and forth on what look we were going for today. And she was like, you know what, you have, you have your brand now. And we have that first video that we did, which we both completely love. And it is one of my all-time favorite videos. So she's like, why don't we just kind of recreate that in a different vibe and using all of your products, so I thought that was perfect. <laughs> of course, I do want to do things a tiny bit differently, but you'll get the overall vibe of my signature makeup look. So if you want to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos and to be notified and enjoy. I'll see you very soon. Bye. All right, so here we have the beautiful Cami, and as you can tell, this is going to be the perfect summer look because you have that really nice bronzed peachy base and color story. And as always, I'm going to be starting off with skincare on Cami and making sure that everything is nice and prepped and ready for makeup. So to start off, I'm going to be spritzing her face with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir and just applying a nice misting of that. Again, it's very therapeutic, it's very spa-like, and this is one of my favorites to kind of refresh the models. Next, I'm gonna be going in with a serum, and this is from Dermalogica, and I'm gonna be applying that all over the skin and down the neck as well. And again, just rubbing that in and making sure that whatever I put on top is nice and locked in. So this is the first layer of moisturizer. For moisturizer, I'm going to be going in with my Biosense. This is one of my favorites, and I'm going to be applying a generous layer of this because Cami is on the drier side, and because I really want to massage that into the skin and really just wake up the skin and get that blood flow going. And this is one of those really good, thick moisturizers that feels very nourishing and is quite basic, so it's going to work for a lot of people. It doesn't have a lot of actives in it, so it's going to be very nice and soothing on the skin. For an eye gel, I'm taking this one from 111 Skin and applying that underneath the eyes. And then I'm going to actually seal it in with an eye mask. So first, just applying that in and make sure that you're just rubbing it in very gently and tapping it in. And it's going to be nice and cooling on the skin. Before I go in with the eye mask, this is something that I kind of always forget. I'm going to be taking the Lucas Papa ointment and applying a very thick layer on her lips basically creating a thick lip mask so that by the time I come to the lips at the end of the makeup, they're nice and hydrated and really plump, and I don't have to worry about a lot of dryness. For the eye mask, I'm taking the 111 Skin Celestial Black Diamond Eye Masks. You know I love these. They really feel so great on the skin, and when I take them off, I really feel like that area is tightened and just refreshed, and I love keeping these in the fridge as well. And while that's on, I'm going to be doing eye makeup so that I take advantage of the time and just, you know, let that work even further. I'm going to be taking a peachy base and applying that all over the eyes as a base for the eyeshadow that I'm going to be doing. Applying a very thin layer from lash line basically up to the brow bone, diffusing it. And repeating the same steps on the other eye. Next, I'm going to be taking my Monochromance palette and I'm going to be dipping into all the beautiful warm tones in this. So starting off with Match Made, which is a beautiful muted mustard color that blends into a neutral brown, I'm going to be going in between and deepening up the crease. But starting off at the outer corner, so darkening and deepening up that outer V, and making sure you have that beautiful dimension all the way at the outer corner because that's where I want the most depth for this look, and diffuse and blend that in. And because this is such a beautiful toasty muted mustard, that really just warms up the skin and blends in with the skin tone and just makes everything look so, so beautiful. Blending that in with that neutral brown just creates that very interesting dimension, as you can see. And if I want to warm it up even more, I'm going to be going in with just the match side, which is the mustard, and just diffusing that into the crease with whatever is left on my brush, because there's going to be a bit of that brown on there. 
and it's just gonna create that seamless gradient that is basically a one and done look. This is one color on its own. You can just throw on mascara, a bit of liner if you want, or a bit of shimmer and that's it. But to make it more complex, I'm going in with the heartthrob shade and taking that peachy color and running it into the crease to create that warm peachy tone that really blends in with the mustard tone. And again, going back to match made and diffusing that even further. So now you have a color story of these mustards, browns, and peaches. For eyeliner, I'm taking my eye tone pencil in intro, which is a beautiful chocolate brown, very creamy. It is a coal, it is vegan. You can basically put it anywhere. You can use it on the lips as well. I'm gonna be creating a winged liner with this and then smudging that and diffusing it out, but focusing the liner on the outer corner and creating a fairly even liner that's on a bit of the thicker side and connecting it almost all the way to the inner part. And I'm gonna be repeating the same steps on the other eye. This is such a flattering brown that's going to look good on everyone because it really pulls out the warm tones in the eyes as well and just makes the eyes pop. And before I set that liner with an eyeshadow, I'm gonna be going in with more of my cream. So now I'm taking my Color Fluid in Boy Tears, which is a beautiful ultra shimmer champagne color. And I'm taking a bit of that on the back of my hand and then with a brush, I'm gonna work fast and apply that on the lid. So you do wanna work fast with this because once it sets, it is on there, it is butch proof, it's 24 hours, but it's easy to remove with a makeup remover, which was very important for me. And I just love this stunning multi-dimensional finish. And I love applying this with fingers as well or with a brush, but again, work one eye at a time because it will set. I'm taking a bit of this on the lower lash line and on the inner corners as well just to add that pop of sparkle there too. And as you can see, I'm going back and forth with a tiny bit of whatever is left on the back of my hand. Now I'm going back in with my eye tone pencil in intra and taking a thin smudger brush. I'm gonna be applying that on the lower lash line and smudging that in, again, to act as a base for the eyeshadows that I'm gonna be putting on top and sealing everything in. And this is a technique that I love to do. I love using my brown pencil as a base for all my eyeshadow looks and then building on top of that because it's so creamy and so forgiving, you can wipe it away. And then once you set it, it is there and is not moving. So that's a very good trick if you're trying to figure out what shape you wanna go for. I'm letting Kami apply that on the inner corners and the rims of the eyes. And now I can continue with setting everything to create that budge proof eyeshadow look. Starting off with Alter Ego and the lightest shade, I'm gonna be setting underneath the brows to really highlight, but at the same time, make everything look very blended and smooth. So blending that back and forth, it's gonna really create that airbrushed look. To set my boy tears and make things even more sparkly, I'm gonna be taking this eyeshadow from the Pat McGrath Divine Rose Palette and just really amping it up because I want that full on shimmer look. And a little bit of this goes a long way because you already have that base underneath. So I'm just tapping it very, very lightly. For lashes, I'm gonna be taking the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara and then applying that through her lashes. And taking those under eye patches off, I can continue with the base. For foundation, I'm gonna be taking the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is the shade number six. And applying that with my favorite KVD brush. This is the Precision Locket brush. I use it all the time. I have so many backups of this brush and I use it for all my creams, foundations, blushes, highlights, and contours. It's so good. So I'm gonna be buffing the foundation in and tapping it in, and I'm using a very, very thin layer and just really letting that foundation do its job and letting the formula speak for itself because if I wanna conceal anything, I'm gonna be doing it with concealer. And as you can see, this foundation just gives that really beautiful skin-like look, but it's velvety and luminous at the same time. It is one of my favorites. It is such a good foundation. For cream bronzer, I'm gonna be taking this Refi bronzer in the shade Tan and applying that where I would contour and bronze at the same time. So a bit higher than a contour because it is more of a bronzer shade. Taking that down the neck as well to make sure that the face matches the neck and chest and everything is in harmony. A bit on the forehead, chin, and just really buffing and blending it into the skin. Doing the same on the other side. And for this, I wanna press more than I'm buffing and really blending the foundation out because I do want to keep everything in place. I'm gonna be taking a bit on the tip of the nose and slightly on the bridge as well for that tanned 
look. And that is the cream bronzer done. For concealer, I'm going to be taking the KVD Good Apple Concealer, and I feel like I always use more than I need. And in this case, I did use more than I need, and I just, I feel like I need a learning curve with this concealer. So I'm dotting that underneath the eyes, around the nose, chin, jawline, and forehead. And then buffing that in with a fluffy, dense brush. So for underneath the eyes, I could have definitely used only three dots for sure because it did look a bit heavy, but it looked beautiful in the end because I set it and then we added the blush. But this is more of a fuller coverage glam with that concealer. For blush, I'm going to be taking my Manifesto lipstick in the shade Call Me Peaches, which is a matte. It's so velvety. It's so thin. And I've been obsessed with using it as blush. You can see that color is so, so beautiful. It is a true, true peach with orangey apricot undertones. And I'm going to be stippling that on top of the cheek and look at that color. I mean, this is really such a beautiful summer color. And it's going to look good on so many skin tones depending on how you build it up and share it out. And of course, it does give that skin that beautiful, glowy look, especially with that bronzy base. I'm going to be dipping back and forth into the same colors I use on the eyes and applying that underneath the lower lash line to really complete the look and to create more of that bronzy, smoky eye. For powder, I'm going to be setting lightly with a fluffy brush, and I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Honey. So basically setting only where I need to, which is more of the T-zone and underneath the eyes. I'm going to be filling her brows in lightly with the Hourglass Pencil in the shade Ash. And I love this because it's on the thicker side and I can really just fill in that entire brow with a base, which is more of a shadow underneath the brows. And then I can go in with detailed precision after. Or just brush the brows up with a bit of gel. And to do that, I'm going to be taking the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter and just brushing the brows up. For lips, I'm going to be taking my lip tone pencil in the shade Hush, which is a beautiful caramel nude, and lining her entire lips and filling them in completely. This is an ultra, ultra smooth formula. If you haven't tried it, you're going to really fall in love with this. It is a wood, which I love more of a classic pencil, and it does not tug. It is ultra creamy. It has beautiful, beautiful blendability, and that is what I love in lip pencils. And now we have that beautiful caramel peach color. I'm going to be taking a bit of my Boy Tears highlighter and just tapping that on the center and bottom of the lip to create that really glittery look. But I'm going to seal that in with a gloss. So you're going to get that really multidimensional lip. And for gloss, I'm going to be taking the Lisa Eldridge lip gloss, and this is in the shade Muse, and applying that all over the lip. For a blush, I'm going to be creating a custom mix of Heavy Petal and Heartthrob, which is the pink and the burnt peaches, and applying that high up on the cheekbone and blending it further into the apples of the cheeks. And on top of that Call Me Peaches lipstick as blush, it just creates this beautiful peachy but sun-kissed look, which we all love. Dipping into Made, which is the ash brown, I'm going to be taking that with a brow brush and emphasizing all her beauty marks which again is a signature of mine and I love doing this and I think everyone should be doing this because it just makes the skin look so beautiful. And because why would you want to cover your beauty marks? I mean, they look beautiful and the more, the better. And I'm going to be applying a bit of highlighter. This is from Bobbi Brown and just taking that on the high points of the face. So the cheekbones and diffusing it on the apples of the cheeks, the tip of the nose and the bridge of the nose and repeating the same steps on the other side. I'm applying whatever is left on the forehead and the chin, very, very lightly. And taking that mascara again on the lower lash line to really complete that smoked out look. And that completes the bronzerella look on Kami. This is perfect for summer. It's very sultry. It's a bit more bumped up with the smokiness and the chocolate on the inner rims of the eyes, but you still have that very delicate ethereal look with all the glitters and shimmers on the eyes and the face and of course that beautiful glossy lip that kind of looks lit from within because we've created that multi-dimensional glow on the lip as well so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more and like this video leave me a comment down below what you think of it and what you would like to see next and i will see you in the next look 
And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Hindash and TikTok at Hindash as well. Bye.